Hi, my name is Alyssa. I have just turned 16 years old um, and I've just been employed by the Toronto Police. I'm really excited to work here because um, I think this is a great opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to introduce you to one of our youth and policing students. Her name is Rochelle Mortimer. Rochelle is a sixth year air cadet and a recent graduate of St. Joseph's College. She has obtained the rank of sergeant in the 856th Air Cadet Corps and recently graduated as an Ontario Scholar with an academic award in health and physical activity. Luckily for us, she aspires to be a police officer in her future profession. Please rise. Please rise for the singing of our national anthem, O Canada. Thank you very much. Please be seated. I'd like to introduce you to our podium guests. With greetings on behalf of the Ministry of Children and Youth Services, Member Provincial Parliament and Parliamentary Assistant to Minister Eric Hoskins, Tracy McCharles. <laughs> Dr. Alec Mukherjee, Chair of the Toronto Police Services Board. Chief William Blair of the Toronto Police Service. And Mr. Jerome Merchant, 2010 Youth and Policing Alumnus. And also with us this morning are Deputy Chief Peter Slowly, Chief Administrative Officer Tony Veneciano, Deputy Chief Mike Federico and our audience is also graced with the presence of Ms. Marianne Chambers, former Minister of Children and Youth Services. This year 950 kids wanted to be in the Toronto Police Services Yippee program. 157 were successful and they're going to have a fantastic summer. This is the experience that other kids, hundreds of other kids have had for several years and I'm so thrilled that the Toronto Police Service continues its commitment to these young people and their communities. I'm very proud of this program. The goal of the Youth and Policing Initiative is to give young people an opportunity to develop job skills while enhancing police and community relations and our next speaker, Jerome Rashant, certainly exceeded that goal. Jerome Marchant was born in Toronto in November 1992. He attended Senator O'Connor Catholic Secondary School where he excelled at football and continued after high school to win the provincial championships with the Toronto Thunder Football Club in 2011 as the team captain. Jerome graduated from the Yippie program in 2010 and is currently on the honor roll at Centennial College where he is studying to become a law clerk and is currently maintaining a 3.5 grade point average. 
His hope is to continue in the legal field, which will enable him to contribute and be a positive role model to youth in his community. Jerome has strong family values, and this can be clearly seen with the bond that he shares with his older brother, who has special needs. Please provide a warm welcome to the podium, Yippie alumni, Jerome Marchand. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jerome. I was a former participant of the Youth and Policing Initiative of summer 2010. When I got involved in this program, I was a little bit apprehensive as I didn't know what to expect. I worked at several jobs before, but none like this where I worked closely with the police services. Could you imagine the range of emotions that I went through, even up to the first day I started the job? But all this fear and apprehension was something I didn't need to put myself through. But after meeting the staff of the Toronto Police, I realized the summer was going to be a blast. Before entering this program, I didn't know which direction I should take for my future or what my future would be. But however, as time progressed and I got more involved in the program, I found the skills I were acquiring were helping me to mature into an individual who had a, who had a sense of purpose and direction. And I credit the Yippie program with helping me to achieve this clear sense of direction. Not only is this program a good example of a stepping stone for the future, but is also a positive networking tool, which gave me the opportunity to interact with fellow peers and police personnel. On this program, we visited different, um, sorry. On this program, we visited different divisions under the police service. These tours provided us some memorable moments, especially to the tour to Mimico Jail and the police dog services. At Mimico Jail, we've seen the effects of being incarcerated. Freedom is limited and privacy is controlled by another party. Um, they, they had to follow a strict routine. Visiting the, dogs, the police dog services, we noticed how intelligent the dogs were when assisting their handlers to capture suspects. Um, the police dog services were with their handlers 24-7. We also went to the Marine Unit, ETF, Museum, Forensic Unit, and the Police College. Their motto to serve and protect really played an important part during these tours. I got a better understanding of the services by going on these tours. I also enjoyed working outdoors, in and outdoors, and giving out parking tickets at Park Enforcement East. <laughs> Thanks. Um, this program taught me key values in life. Since my involvement in this program, I could probably say that my community members now see me more as a positive light. They tell me that they've seen the changes in me, and I'm recognized as a role model. These were remarks that were never expressed to me. When I'm in my community and people see me, they tell me, you're a true role model for my son and for my daughter, and they ask me, how do I do it? I tell them since working with the Toronto Police Service during the summer 2010 Yippie program, and my continuing involvement with them on a volunteer basis has changed my life tremendously. At this time, I'd like to say thank you to the Toronto Police Service and to the coordinators of the Youth and Policing Initiative for giving me the opportunity to participate in this program. This program gave me the opportunity I needed to make a difference in my life. And to this year's Yippie students, I'd like for you to take this as an opportunity, not just as a job, because the people whom you connect through this job, through this program, will and can help you to make a difference in your life. This program gave me a boost to thrive for excellence for myself. You can achieve such success as well, I leave you with the following words of Emerson. As you live your days, so you'll live your life. It is easy to get caught up in trapping, sorry, it's easy to get caught up in the trap of thinking that this day doesn't matter much, given all the days that lie ahead of you. But a great life is nothing more than a series of great, well-loved days strung together like a beautiful necklace of pearls. Every day counts and contributes to the quality of the end result. The past is gone, the future is just a figment. So this day you could really own. Invest in it wisely. Your life is not a dress rehearsal. Lost opportunities rarely come again. Today, vow to increase your passion for living and multiply the commitment you will bring to each of the following days that will follow this one. Thank you.